Starting on the outside of the 22 Nissan Frontier, this is your key fob right here, very familiar to other Nissan models. But I'm looking at the exterior, it is wrapped in a glacier white. This is a Pro Forex model, priced at $44,000. You have full LED headlights and LED fog lights. This one does come equipped with some more off-road goodies. Nissan Safety Sense. <laughs> My bad, that's Honda, but um, Looking at the tires, you do have 265 width tires on 17 inch alloy wheels. These are all-terrain tires. The steps do come as a separate option. Glacier white is the exterior. Here's a look on your gas cap. Premium gas is required. This is a crew cab. King cab does come with a smaller door for the rear. For $1,095, you can get this bar right here to accompany this five foot bed. Full LED tail lights. You see you have a nice step right here to get into the bed. Honestly, I do prefer how the GMC and Ford vehicles do it with the step where it's integrated into the bumper, but um, nevertheless, it is a good feature to have. Looking at the tailgate right here, five foot bed with 40 cubic feet of space. Now let me show you guys the interior of the Frontier. Now let me show you guys the interior of the Frontier. We're gonna start out in the rear. Key this entry for the front and door handles only. See, you do get some nice equipment though when you get the Pro 4X. Nice backpack and cargo mats. Getting on in, I have the seat set at my height. I have about three inches of leg room and about three, four inches of headroom. You do get a USB port and a USB-C. A look to the cabin with some nice LED illumination as well as a window for the rear that slides open manual adjust now let me show you guys the cockpit of the frontier looking on the interior you do have power seats for the driver automatic window with the Pro 4X you do get the orange accents on the interior down here you do have your hood release I'll show you guys what's under the hood. It is a 3.8 liter V6, 310 horsepower, 281 pound foot of torque. 17 in the city, 22 on the highway, and 19 combined. Vehicle is 4,700 pounds and is equipped with a nine speed automatic transmission. Now for the cockpit of the Frontier. Down here you have your all-wheel drive lock, traction, your cargo lamp, a hill descent, and your auditory warning for your driver assistance, as well as a tow mode. This can tow 6,270 pounds. Now looking at the center console in front of the driver, you have a seven inch display right there. It controls all of your different vehicle settings. You have your speed, driver assistance tech, the different vehicle settings right here looking right here down here you do have your push button start and light controls on each side screen illumination this side control your adaptive cruise control on this side your source for your radio controls and telematics all right behind the wheel of the Nissan Frontier First impressions, the 9-speed automatic is very smooth and refined.
Now this one is a Pro 4X model which has all of the options. Price to MSRP is around $44,000. This one does have a couple of niceties. Which I talked about in the tour portion of this video, but visibility out the front, rear, and sides is good. I recently driven a Hyundai Santa Cruz and I have to say though that this is a little bit better. The rear isn't as sloping as the Santa Cruz, but um, it's better. And I also did drive the previous generation Frontier, and this one is like night and day difference between how that drove, how that drove, and how this drives. But um, it's a lot more smoother. Despite having terrain tires, even over the rough stuff right here, it does a pretty good job of isolating the road imperfections. Now speaking on driver assistance tech, this does have the $990 driver assistance pack, with blind spot assist, lane keeping assist, automatic emergency braking actually is standard in this trim. All the other driver assistance tech comes in that package. Now what I think about the class overall is that it's better than like when you go for the bigger size trucks like a F-150 or a Tundra. With those you gotta be careful. This is like the perfect size with enough room in the back and enough off-road capabilities. This also does have skid plates in front and rear. Check out how the 9 speed auto downshift swings look. So, it does have 310 horses and 281 pounds for the torque. And give the 9 speed a minute, and then it'll downshift and it'll just take off. The steering is also something a lot more noticeable in this version right here with better steering. It's more precise than the previous generation. a lot more direct. The previous generation when you turn the steering we had to give it a lot more effort to get anything out of it but this one works just fine. Dare I say this is more carish and refined than the previous generation. To control your driver assistance tech over here on this side, you can turn off all your auditory warnings right there. And then you also have your blind spot assist. You see right there it's illuminating with this car. Now currently we are in four wheel drive high mode. If you leave it in two wheel drive mode, you can get better gas mileage since it is going into a real drive mode. It's better for fuel consumption. This is 
honestly a refreshing option versus the Toyota Tacoma, which has been out since 2015, and this one's a lot better. You have a lot more technology with these seven inch gauge cluster right here and a nine inch touchscreen in the center console. Now speaking of towing, this thing can tow 6,270 pounds, looking at this truck in front of us. So it could possibly tow that trailer up there with ease. One weird thing too is that you do get a little bit of steering heft with the old drive system and some of the off-road capability stuff equipment on this. You feel a little bit of the steering feel with that. Which depending upon how you look at it, if you do a lot of off-roading, that would be a nice additional feel to get. But um, if you used to drive like a regular SUV or a car, it's gonna feel different. You can really feel the mass or durability of the improved off-road capabilities. highway and see how the ride noise is at highway speeds and check out the driver assistance tech. Um, it's currently unavailable right now, so 
gonna have to figure that out a little bit later. It should have lane keeping assist. Which will pull you back in your lane. All auditory warnings, as I stated before, down there on the left hand side. on the Frontier, what do I think about it overall? It is honestly a better option than a couple of rivals like the Tacoma and the Ford Ranger, which has been out since 2011 and 2015 respectively, but it has a lot more technology and honestly it's probably one of the better Nissans to buy. The durability and reliability of this truck, along with the Titan, and the perfect size, and refreshing technology versus the previous generation. You can see why the Frontier has a pretty good following behind it. I do like the stand wheel, it is very sturdy in your hands, nice and grippy. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Chris signing out.